I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will solve question number 23 page 21. As per the request of my students I would like them to understand the logic and then you can pause the video in between and solve the question. Question here is show that at point of intersection of quadratic function y equals to x square and y equals to 0 0.5 minus x square the tangents to the functions are perpendicular right so that is the question so let us first understand this particular question it says that uh, if I kind of sketch a graph for this we have one function which is y equals to x square and let us say that is the graph of the function y equals to x square the other one is uh, half of uh, minus x square means reflected downwards and uh, 0.5 or half unit up right so so let us say kind of like this right so let me just sketch it like this right so this is the this is the graph of uh, minus so we could write this so these are the two functions correct so the second function here is uh, 0 0.5 minus x squared the first one is x squared the question here is that the tangents to the function are perpendicular at the point of intersection that is that is what it is so basically if we are considering this point of intersection tangent to this graph is here this point tangent is like this on the other hand if I draw tangent to the other graph it will be kind of like this and as you can see it looks like more or less perpendicular right but we need to prove it that is the question I hope you understand the question now so you can actually solve it first find the points of intersections and then find uh, at those points equation of tangents right so that is how you could do it right so let us uh, do it one by one let us find point of intersection first right so let's find point of intersection between the two graphs one is y equals to x squared so we have x squared equals to the other one let me write this as half of minus x squared so I'll bring this to the right side so we get 2x squared equals to half x squared equals to 1 over 4 and x is equals to plus minus square root of 1 over 4 right so that gives us two values that is plus minus half so these points x values for us are minus half and plus half you get the idea right so first find the point of intersections just as we did now we know x values at these points we need to find equation of tangents since uh, more than one point is required uh, we can find a general equation right so let's find uh, slope m for the first graph at uh, at a general point x equals to a just take a general point that should be limit h approaches 0 x plus h right so we'll write uh, f of x plus h minus f of x I should have written a right because I'm looking at x equals to a divided by h so that really means I have to replace x with a plus h so what I get here is limit h approaches 0 of a plus h whole square minus a square over h so I can now expand this get limit h approaches 0 so when you expand you get a square plus 2a h plus a square minus a square over h that is limit h approaches 0 so when you combine minus a square plus a square is 0 2ah plus h square I can take h common so I can write this as 2a plus h over h and that is equals to 2a correct so that is the slope of the tangent for the first at any point now we know we have two points in consideration so we'll find the slope for the first line this is we are talking about y equals to x square right so we say at x equals to half is how much so I replace a with half so get 2 times half which is 1 and now we'll find slope at x equals to minus half that is 2 times minus half and that is minus 1 
So for this graph, the slope is m equals to 1 on this side and m equals to minus 1 on this side. So this is for x square, correct? Now let us do the same calculations for the second. So now we'll work on the second function, which in our case is uh, 0 0.5 minus x square, right? So here the slope m where x equals to a will be limit h approaches 0 and I'll write a plus h so I have 0 0.5 minus a plus h whole square that is f a plus h right minus f of a which is uh, 0 0.5 minus a square divided by h I have not written the formula this time I have applied it directly for the second function we could expand this so we get limit a h approaches 0 which is uh, okay I think we'll run out of space so I'll continue here so we'll limit a h approaches 0 so we'll write this as 0 0.5 minus a square let's put it in bracket itself plus 2 a h plus h square right so this is the first bracket minus I'm opening this bracket 0 0.5 plus a square divided by h okay so when you simplify this what do you get you get limit h approaches 0 now here you can clearly see that uh, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is 0 and a square and minus a square is again 0 so you have two terms where you can take h common minus outside so we'll have minus h common we have 2a plus h over h so this could be written as limit h approaches 0 of minus 2a right minus 2a a plus h right minus 2a I mean minus outside 2a plus h because h and h cancel out correct now we can substitute h equals to 0 and we get minus 2a as the limit as the the slope of the tangent at any point at this stage we can substitute half and minus half so we get slope at x equals to half as equals to minus 2 times half that is minus 1 and slope at x equals to minus half is minus 2 times minus half and that is plus 1 do you see that so at these two points the slope of the second line is so at x equals to half it is minus 1 so at this point the slope is m equals to minus 1 at minus half it is positive 1 right so this is m equals to positive 1 so you can clearly see that the slope at half for both the functions is negative reciprocal so slope at half is this correct so we can equate slope at half for both the functions plus 1 and minus 1 so when you multiply you get negative 1 so that means they are perpendicular right similarly you can equate the slope at minus half at minus half we have slope as minus 1 and plus 1 when you multiply them you get minus 1 and that shows that these two tangents are perpendicular right so you can explain it properly and then conclude your solution I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.